Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony, um, and uh, as you can see, the table over here is messy, because I'm at my aunt's house right now in, in their garage. And uh, I got a battery charging right now, and looks like it's already fully charged, but before I do that, just a little, uh, another quick rundown on the Fortec 2.0 before I do anything else. And believe me, there is going to be a running video on this coming up later on. Um... On my unboxing video, that was just a quick overview that I just did. I was just getting to know the car and stuff. And so far, it's a shaft-driven all-wheel drive system. Um, I did say back in that previous video that um, my local hobby store said that the some of the drive trains, uh, like like the um, the front and rear differentials, they're from a Reeve Revo. Uh, I was wrong. They're actually from slash four x four. Um, and stuff like that so yeah that was a mistake I did uh, as far as I'm concerned the the springs the shocks of cells are I believe are from an Erevo or because um, I did notice that they were shorter the little um, area where the oil is is stored in they're a lot shorter than the slash and rustler so I'm assuming that these are Erevos um, shocks because I've seen Erevo shocks in my local hobby store one time and they're freaking short because you know they're laid down shocks compared to you know the Slash and Rustler. Keep in mind this is my first time uh, in the in the RC streetcar world because out of all the RCs I own I had a, I have a Slash and a Rustler so I've been more lean more into the off-road theme than the on-road because uh, I thought the on-roads were not as good as the off-roads because, you know, off-roads you can just, like, take it almost anywhere you wanted to do. But I wanted to have a streetcar in my collection at some point in time, so here it is. I've been drooling over the Fortec for quite some time. Um, when I had my Helion Animus 18SC and 18TR, it was also all-wheel drive. But that one's an 18 scales, and the drive shaft was me it was not metal, but it was plastic. This one right here is, this drive shaft is metal, so is the differential, so all metal equipment around. Um, so it's brushless ready, so I can literally stuck a castle system in, which I'm mostly likely going to do. This motor, once I do get my castle system, this motor ESC combo will be on my, on my slash two-wheel drive. Because, you know, I'm not really going to go hard on it with brushless power. Because last time I did that with my other slash, it screwed up. So I want to screw that up again. So I'm just going to put this one onto my slash. Uh, once I put a castle system on this one. So um, so the ESC and motor is a Titan 12 turn with a, with an XL5 ESC. Same thing as you find on pretty much tracks. This is um, uh, base models like the Slash, Rustler, Stampede, and Bandit. Uh, 550 size motors, basically a 540 can with a fan in here to help it cool it down while it's running. Um, it has the, over here, this is where the servo is at. It's kind of dark, but this is where the servo is at. 2075 um, steering servo, the same one as, the same waterproof servo as you find in the Traxxas Slash. Um, what I do like about this uh, battery, battery hold down, because the reason why I like this uh, battery uh, um, hold down thing is because when I have when I my slash and rustler in order to take them out take a battery cover out, I have to uh, take off two pins whereas with this one I don't have to I can just pull a latch down here and and then it swivels on and stuff like that so so this one swivels on a swivels on a caster and this one swivels on hinge and when I put the battery in, locks right in place, which is pretty cool. But uh, this will probably will not work on big LiPo batteries, so you probably need to upgrade that with a with the one that has a higher higher height of this one, because this one does have like a little clearance for it. So yeah, um, the tires are fairly grippy. Uh, however, the when I push these down, they're kind of stiff. I'll, you need to, if you 
they are going to grip for sure, but these are going to wear out pretty fast, according to my uncle, because he has a uh, streetcar himself too. But his is not a Fortec. He has a HPI Nitro RS4. So hopefully this will give me some good traction for the long run. What I'm planning to do is I'm actually going to put uh, foam tires on these on this car soon and stuff like that. So we'll see how that works out. And yeah, I did mention on the over on the brief overview when I unboxed this car, it's non-adjustable camber and tow linkages, unfortunately. Um, there's only two positions on the on I believe on the tow area on the front, but not here on the on the top. I could probably put a turn buckle up here and um, increase its camber or something. I don't know, but probably this is actually for the um, for the roll bars, if I'm not mistaken. These little things here. You cannot see it, but it's these little pieces here. And there's supposed to be a rod that connects from this point to that point. Yeah. Um, what else? Nothing much. Um, I forgot to show you. I did show you this little bag of goodies on my unboxing, but I didn't get to show it to you. But basically, it has your shock spacers, your... Little extra pistons in there, uh, shock shaft spacers basically, and stuff like that. Um, there is a little, I don't see it. There, you may not see it, but it's back, back there. That's those are extra shock, not not shock. Well, you put these on the shock towers, but the, basically these are um, uh, body post. So if you get the if you want to get a Mustang body for the Fortec, you can use that or any other street car. And then you got your tools over here, an L wrench and a cross wrench, and then there's the optional speed gear setting, which will give you the advertised 30 miles an hour. I actually did that same speed run on my slash. It actually went 31 to 32, which is not bad actually, but um, it's still kind of slow, but you know, for a brush system, that's pretty good. And then you get your brochure, your instructions, and all, all the other stuff. And um, I didn't show you the controller that much. I didn't, <clears throat> forgive me guys, because I am not really up to date with these kind of controllers, but this is a TQI top qualifier, 2.4 gigahertz radio control. Um, this is ex pretty much almost the exact same one as my other controller, except it obviously doesn't have the third channel switch here, which activates the onboard audio. Or in nitro cars, it would be the, um, the um, reverse, because nitro cars don't really go backwards. Um, it has your, unlike my other controller, this one has a 70-30 switch, so 70% um, uh, forward and 30% backwards. In the 50, and then there's a 50-50, so 50% throttle, 50% reverse, well, 50% forward, 50% reverse. Then there's a multi-function that I don't know what that does. Um, however, there is a phone app that I can download, which is basically the Traxxas link that I could connect it to my phone and hopefully use this one as the, you know, figure it out. And But we have the obvious steering trim here. Menu, button, set button. So... Basically, it's that same controller as a base model Traxxas vehicle, but this one is more advanced, just slightly. But And I'm able to use my phone for that. So, yeah, that is just a quick overview, once again, on the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 Ford GT. Now, um, like I said in my other videos, that the Fortec is not a new car. The... the the Fortec name is not really a new title for it. The Fort, like I said, the Fortec has came around in way in the early 2000s and stuff like that. And it evolved. It was originally a belt-driven uh, streetcar uh, until the end of the Traxxas Nitro Fortex uh, uh, run. And then here we are with the Nitro, Nitro with the Fortec 2.0, which is now a shaft-driven all-wheel drive system. So... Yeah, that is the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 Ford GT. And like I said, you can have um, a Mustang body with this too. That's uh, why the, those body posts are there. Or any other streetcar body that you want to put, as long as it's 10 scale. 
So yeah, since the battery is fully charged, I'm here. I'm gonna do some quick runs on in the backyard. And yeah, so thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the running video.